So now you know that the other nations don't mean anything. It's all about God's chosen people in Israel. Give me uh. I don't really know the Bible like that, so I'm still learning myself. Hey, sis, we all here. learn it, sis. We all learn, but we gotta start somewhere. That's right. Now, now, now you know that. Let's let's see what God says about you, okay? Let's see what God says about you and Israel. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Bring it out. But thou art a holy people. So, since God says that the Israelites are a holy people, made a separate, separate from the other people. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. God says he's chosen you, sis. What's your name? Stephanie. God says he's chosen you, Stephanie. When you look at all the other nations, he looks at you and says he's chosen you. To be a special people. He says you're chosen and you're special. Okay? I believe that too. Really? Unto himself. <laughs> unto him. He says unto me you're a chosen and special person, right? right. But there's a lot of different nations on this planet, but God says that his people, the Israelites, are chosen and special. special. Fuck, I agree. That's right. <laughs> above all really? people. No, equal to all people. Above all people. That's what the Bible says about us. But when you go into the Christian church, what do you see? That's you see a house full of us. all nations. But God is saying himself that the Israelites are above all people. That's, That's right. right. And why are we all in there together? Something's wrong. Three. That are upon the face of the earth. So we still on the earth, right? God says that the Israelites are above all other people that's walking on this planet earth. That's right. We're special and we're chosen. Right. We belong to him. Right. Give me that uh, Isaiah 44 Because we are a chosen people unto God. We belong to the Most High God. We're special. That's that's right. Right. This, this, the the words of this book, God gave it to us. Pick it up in a while, but that's gonna make me pick it up. Second, you know what? Yeah, give me that, and then we'll go to second verse 64. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, and verse 1. Bring it out. Yet now hear, O Jacob. He's talking to Jacob, the, uh, our, Jacob, the Israelite. Jacob is our forefather, okay? You see these 12 tribes? That's the one we from Jacob, right? My servant uh -huh. and Israel. Whom I have chosen. We are the servants of the Most High God, and we are the people that God chose. Us, the right. Israelites, sis. Right. Right. Go ahead and give me that second Ezra six. So let's 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 put some more emphasis. Let's get some more out the scriptures regarding how God feels about the Israelites oh, no, no, compared no, 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 to the other nations. Okay. Because when you, when you go to the Christian church, you see all people. They all gathered in there together. That's not what the Bible is saying. Read. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-four. Bring it up. And after thee, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Because Adam was the first man, right? So he would be Lord of all creatures, because everybody descended from him, right? Correct. Okay, let's see, let's see what the Bible says. Of him come we out. Everybody came from Adam, right? You agree? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta read that. Yeah, I'll please just got that. Oh, you gotta read that. I'm, I'm very sure. We were, talk, oh. we were talking about Adam and everybody at one point. Then it says the chosen. Who, read that part. Again. Yeah, I kind of and, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the chosen is separated from everybody else. We're the ones who's, who God loves. Right. Everybody right. else don't mean nothing. Right. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Now it says God made the world for our sakes. That's the same chosen people. Right. Read. As for the other people. Now are we talking about the other people outside of the chosen, the Israelites. Right? Right. Which also come of Adam. Because those other people, they came from Adam too. The ones that's not chosen, right? Because he was the first man, right? Read. Thou hast said. God said. That they are nothing. Whoa. That's right. Bring Whoa, it out. Read that again. Oh, Woo. Yeah. Whoa, read read that. She that. said, read that again. Yeah. Yeah. Thou hast said. God said. That they are nothing. That's, that's right. right. The same version Bible. The same one that's in the Christian church. Right. But the pastor not going to ever read that scripture. Right. Right. 
tell you that God only loves you, the Israelites? Right. He's going to want everybody to be there so he can get all the money. Bring right. it right. He wants the money. That's what it's all about. It's what it's always been about is the money, the tithes. Right. Teach. Give it to her again in Isaiah. Give it that Isaiah 40 and 17. Bring, Bring it out. Because this Bible is this Bible is redundant. It's going to say something in one place. It's going to say the same thing in another place. That's right. Out. Oh. Isaiah 40 and 17. This Bible's for the Israelites. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. Bring it up. Oh. All nations before him. Oh, it says all nations before him. Read. Or as nothing. Whoa. Wait a minute. That's right. That, that's the second one. Says all these oh. nations before him are as nothing. That's right. Three. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Ooh. Not only did he say they nothing, but he said they less than nothing. That's right. right. Let them know less than nothing. That's that's negative of something. Teach up. Three. Joel, Joel two. And vanity. And vanity. They vain. They not worth anything. That's Right. If you go get a check and you write void on it, it ain't worth nothing no more. You can't cash it. I always, I always thought he'd be like believers and non-believers. You know what I'm saying when he say me and our people. Joel 2:27. No, uh, uh says this Bible was written for the Israelites. It's for the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. We're the one who went into captivity for breaking the commandments, and we're the ones who looking forward to deliverance. That's right. That's what this story is all about. They just here, sis. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I says he's in the midst of Israel. He's among the Israelites. That's right. It'll say all people. Read. And that I am the Lord thy God. I'm the Lord thy God. Your God. Read. None else. So everybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, he's not their God. That's that's right. Right. And that's my people. My people, that's possessive. My, just like my shoes, my house, my shirt. Read. Shall never be ashamed. We don't have nothing to be ashamed of, oh, sis. That's, that's right. right. Absolutely. There's already 12 tribes in the Bible. Genesis 49. Let's go, Genesis 49. Bring it up. Bring it up. Sign over here, sis. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. Right, right. Let's start at uh, T-Top. Verse 1. Yes. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 1. Bring it out. And Jacob called unto his son. So here's Jacob. He's the forefather of the Israelites. He's speaking to his sons. All right. And said, gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. All right, so he's telling his son things that's gonna happen in the last days. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go to, let's go to Judah. Eight. Verse, uh, eight. Eight. Verse eight. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. So Judah is the head tribe of the nation of Israel. That's right. right. So that's Judah's the one who's gonna be praised. We're the ones who's the, the leader in everything. When you look at the sports world, who's the leader of the sports world? Judah, LeBron James, Judah. All of those black men, what else? Uh, uh, what other kind of sport? Ba uh, basketball, yep. uh, music. Golf, the yep. best music musicians are black, they from Judah. I Gymnastics. Wesley Snipes, movies. Gymnastics, the, the, the lady that, that, that uh, did the gymnastics. She's, Simone Biles. She's a world Simone title holder. Simone Biles. Oh. Beyonce, Ali. Yeah. Judah is the head tribe. We the ones who's being praised in the earth. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thy head shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Because go back into the time of uh, when we are. Uh, civil rights. Civil rights. What were we doing as a nation of people? Martin Luther King, we was marching in the streets, right? Everything that they tried to take away from us, we was trying to gain it back, right? They said we couldn't uh, drink out the same water fountain as them. What we did, we were going protest and say, we want we want to drink the same fountain as you. Or we want Black Wall Street, right? We had our own businesses set up. Right. But what happened? They took it away. Everything that they- Black Wall Street? We don't have, 
We don't have those things within the nation of Israel, yes. But at one time, we had a community. We had our own community. We had our own doctors, our own businesses, our own banks, our own airplanes. We had everything. What happened? They came and bombed it and destroyed it. Right. In Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's where it happened. That's right. Black Panthers, the Young Lords. Brown Berets. Right. That's dope. That's the time when we had our hands in the neck of our enemies. We was fighting for civil rights. But let me ask you a question, sis. What's the problem with us fighting for civil rights? Or is there anything wrong with that? Teach off. Not to me. Why are we fighting to be equal with the people that's below us? That's right. That's the problem. We're above them. They don't mean nothing to God. That's right. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. It says, Thy father's children shall bow down before us. Because Judah is the head tribe. Right? Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. Because now what do you see us doing? We're not, we're not standing up for civil rights like we used to. Right. I mean, we're doing it on, on, on a minor level, but at that time we actually was coming together. That's right. We were together then than we are now. Right. right. But look, the same atrocities are still happening to us. Right. We're still on the news getting shot. But then when we come together, what are we doing? We're fighting each other. Right. Instead other. of going against the oppressors. Right. Right. We're fighting each other. World Star Hip Hop, what do you see? They laugh at it and fight. They can't even come together in one mind. And as an old lion. As an old lion. Like <laughs> Who shall rouse him up? What's going to rouse up the tribe of Judah? What's going to raise us up to come back to who we are? To come and stand up for the injustice? To be a righteous nation before God? What's going to do that? The scepter, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter will not depart from Judah. The headship will not depart from Judah because Judah is the head tribe of the nation of Israel. That's right. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh, Shiloh is Christ, until Christ come. Right. All right, now let's go to, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not here. You know, I ask them they pop in my head. You understand it, sis? I'm, I'm not following you All right. I'm learning to figure out. Sis, this Bible is about the Israelites. All right? That's right. God's chosen people. These other nations, they just here, sis. Right. We the ones who's given the commandments of God to keep so that we can come out of this condition. And you know you're right, because as long as I've been going to church, I've never heard of like break down the Bible like that. Let me show you, give me uh give me Malachi Please, 207 uh, right quick. I'm gonna show you. I I'm gonna did. show you why. I'm gonna show you what we're supposed to be hearing from the pastor's mouth. Bring it out. Oh, no. it tells you that in the Bible. Bring it out. But the pastor, he ain't gonna tell you that because the only thing he was concerned about is money, money, money. Bring oh, it out! about how you gonna pay my bills and I'm gonna come give you a sweet song and a dance <laughs> this is the book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7 Bring it out. for the priest's lips should keep knowledge the Bible says that the priest's lips or the pastor's lips should keep knowledge let's see what the knowledge is and they should seek the law at his mouth. So when you go to church, you're supposed to be seeking the laws of God out of the pastor's mouth. That's right. Because contrary to popular belief, sin is what will keep us out of the kingdom. Right. But right. they're not teaching you that in church. Right. Because they want to keep us in sin. Right. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So a real messenger of the Lord is going to teach you the commandments and the laws of God to save your soul. That's right. right. Because that's see what is sin? From everything. I mean, from what I understand. So, like sex without being married. Right. Uh, drugs and alcohol. You know, I mean. Just going in sin is for when we going in sin. That's true, sis. That's what I'm saying. That's correct. Those are so, actual sin. Those things are actually in the Bible. Now, I'm asking you a question. Some of those things that you listed. Are people in the Christian church committing those acts? They're doing that and some. Exactly, but they still come in there on Sunday morning, right? Does anybody say judging, anything? Judging people. They don't say nothing. You know why? Because they're doing the same exact thing.
That's right. That's the problem. We got to start keeping the commandments and we got to teach our people to keep the commandments. Free on, Hawk. That's where change comes. Let's see what sin is. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it up. Whosoever committeth sin, whosoever commits sin or does sin, transgresseth also the law. Transgress means to go against. Okay? So when we sin, we're transgressing God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.